Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get the best print quality out of your Canon Pro series printers. I've got the Canon Pro 200 and when I first got it, the quality was amazing. Except I don't know what happened, but after a while, my prints stopped having lines in them. So if you look close on this photo, you can see, look, there's vertical lines happening. And I just didn't know how to fix it. I was a bit confused, but I finally figured out how to do it and it's been working for a while and I'm happy about it. And the problem was to do with drivers. So out of the box, it installs your air print version of your Canon Pro series drivers. Now, if you click on Canon Pro 200 series and go ahead and click ads, it's gonna do a really bad thing and it's gonna install the air print version of the driver. So let's just set it up and show you what's happening. And look, it says air print there. And if you see the kind of driver there, it's installed the Canon Pro 200 series air print. Now this is the bad driver, you don't want this one. So this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this printer. Now you might think that it's actually using the official drivers, but it's not, it's using Apple's air print version. That protocol just messes it up. You don't wanna be using the air print. You wanna be using the IPP protocol. I'll show you exactly how to do it. So first up, just install the official drivers. You get it from Canon's website. Pretty easy, just go on Google, type in your printer, type in driver, just download it, install it. Pro 200 drivers, Google's really good at indexing the internet, so boom, right there, first result. You can install the driver directly, it's probably the easiest thing to do, or if you want a bit of added stuff with it, they've got extra software, you can install a setup package. Just install the driver, it's all good, but then the key is, when you go to your print setup, instead, if you go into the globe icon and you type in IP address, you can get the IP address directly from the printer itself. So if you go into LAN settings and then Wi-Fi, if you scroll to the bottom, it actually tells you the IP address right there. And we're using the internet protocol over there, not AirPrint, Internet Printing Protocol, IPP. We're gonna be using the Canon Pro 200 series driver and hit add. Continue, there's already a printer there, it's just setting it up. So there you go, it's added a brand new printer. That one right there, and if you look at the kind, it says Canon Pro 200 series. Now this dry bar actually works and that's the good one. That is the one that won't give you the vertical lines. I used to get vertical lines with AirPrint, very, very bad. Maybe you can just, you know, hardwire it, don't use it over Wi-Fi and that'll probably work, but IPP works really well. And the good thing about using the official drivers is, in printer settings, when you go ahead to go ahead and print, guess what you can do? You can actually have it automatically brighten up the images. So previously I had to go inside tools and adjust color and increase the shadows to get the printer looking good. But now look at this, I can go ahead and click print. And inside here, you go into printer options. You got a couple of cool features. The one I just wanna jump into color options. You click on that and boom, you got a brightness setting. So you can just increase the brightness up to you. You have some printouts and figure out which one you like, but I make mine 20. And look at that right here. You can save it as a preset, save current setting as a preset, give it a name. And now every single time you go ahead and print, it'll come up with that preset. Something you can also do to save economy, you click on quality and media. And instead of having the print quality as high to use up loads of inks, you can keep it standard. The quality is still amazing on standard. So you can have it like that. Or if you want to use the extra juice, you go ahead and high, save it as a preset and you're going to get glorious prints every time. One extra final thing as well. When you select your paper size, if you go to A4, for example, you can click on normal A4 or you can click on A4 borderless. So that's how you do your borderless prints if you want nothing around the edges. Do that, save it as preset, and live happily ever after. I've got it in print options. I've got it to always brighten up the images and I've saved it as a preset. So every single print I do now comes out looking good. Now the brightness setting you wanna use is up to you. You can go ahead and do a couple of prints, find out what print works for you. For me, I do it 20, but you know, for you, you could want it less or more. Just find out what works for you. And that way it's just easy and seamless. Now I can print my prints out and there's no vertical lines and it works and I'm happy. And even for double economy, you can change the quality of the actual print output. You got high and standard. I struggle to tell the difference because the quality of this printer is amazing. So you can save extra ink by just reducing the quality. But if you need super, 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 super awesome, I'm talking about super awesome, you can set it to high and be very, very happy. So that was just a quick guide on how to fix your Canon Pro 200 woes. Do not use AirPrint. 
And I'll be having a guide for Windows very soon because I did also run into that vertical line issue on Windows, but I fixed it on Mac. So I'm gonna figure out how to fix it on Windows too. So let me know how you guys are rocking with your prints. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Oh,